my name is Ruby Rose Sanchez, and we just got finished watching 10 amazing films for LunaFest. We are now at the reception here at Crew West Gallery, owned by Man One, who is one of our hosts and also did a very special limited edition print called One Bliss for the event itself, which we are selling at $40 a piece, and those will be also be benefiting the Breast Cancer Fund and St. Jude's Children Research Hospital. We would also like to thank our hosts, Vosco's Yogurt and Big Man Bakes for the mini cupcakes that they have donated, as well as Pitfire Pizza, who's also provided some pizzas for our guests. Hi, today we were blessed to have Cindy Sanchez, who is also a breast cancer survivor herself, come and join us. She took a trip down from San Diego to join us here in downtown LA for LunaFest. So, Cindy, now that you saw the films, what did you think about them? It was amazing. It was the first time that I've ever been able to just see all these amazing stories, and I could completely relate to most of them as a woman, as a survivor, and I really got emotional at, uh, at some of the, 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 sh the films. It was amazing. What would you say is your favorite film? I think the final one at the end with the poem. Um, just be yourself. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what color, what size, um, shape. Just be yourself. And what did you think about um, Luna Fest in general, the venue, and being here in downtown LA? I don't come to LA often. I was a little lost at first, but I, I love downtown. The venue was great. It was very intimate, very personal. It was perfect for Luna Fest, and this gallery also is it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. How did you find out about LunaFest this year? Actually, I was at work on Friday, and I Googled um, breast cancer events going on in uh, Southern California, and um, it connected me with LunaFest today. If you were to tell the community about LunaFest, what would you tell them is the number one reason to come and support? Definitely come and support um, breast cancer. Uh, as a young woman myself, um, I was 31 at the time, and anything for breast cancer to bring awareness prevention and just to bring people aware that it doesn't matter you don't have to have a history like I didn't have history in my family um, and just to bring um, education well thank you Cindy for joining us today it was a pleasure having you here with us thank you thank you um, my favorite film was probably the um, one about being alone and being able to be happy while you're alone just because I feel like our society does teach you that being alone is something bad and depressing and sad and it shouldn't be. My favorite film was a transgender about the transgender because I have a close friend. She's a female but she's going through the same process so it's interesting to see it from a male's perspective. My favorite film would have to be the transgender video just because I've been learning a little bit more about that and being more open-minded about um, the transgenders and gays and the lesbian community. So it was very interesting to, to see it from a, a child's perspective. My name is Wendy Morales. My name is Jennifer Polo Shirk. My name is Julieta Heldenbrand. So while I was here at the LunaFest um, reception, the, actually the painter was here who owns the gallery where the reception is being held. And I think it's fitting because it's uh, portraying a female and today's um, film festival was all about female empowerment. And uh, you know, it reminds me of Da Vinci's The, the Man, I forget what it's called, but it's interesting to see, it, to see a female being portrayed um, as that icon iconic fig figure. So it's beautiful. I'm excited. I love art. For those of you who were not able to join us this year, we hope to see you next year at the LunaFest 2013 here in downtown.